The Supreme Fall Winter 2020 season is here. Yesterday we went ahead and did the full range video, which was almost an hour long. Today we're doing just the top 10 pieces, or my top 10 pieces, which will obviously differ from what you guys uh, hold the highest from the season. But I like to do these more condensed videos because I know not everybody wants to go ahead and watch the hour long video. Though if you do, it will be in uh, linked in the description down below. And with that being said, we will get into my top 10 pieces of the season, not in any specific order. So first up, we have this blowback rayon, and obviously Supreme has a lot of good rayons that they've put out. And I think this one is probably the best one, or easily the best one actually, from this season. Uh, the one issue I have with it, which isn't a major issue, I just feel like they could have done a little bit better on the colorway for this one. I think maybe like a, a light pink, fading into like a, a bluish purple on the top would have maybe looked a little bit better though I do still like this yellow into the blue it's just probably not something that I would rock um, just because I don't know I feel like they could have done a little bit better on the colorways uh, but that being said you know still obviously a great piece and the colorway isn't that bad even though I'm complaining about it next up we have this dragon hockey jersey which is obviously a wild piece and not necessarily a piece that I think is like great really but you know it's in my top 10 so you know I do hold it kind of high but I just think this graphic is insane and you know if you if you want to know a little bit about me like I'm wearing this crazy like huge uh ghost rider all over print one you know very similar to this but I, I think this is a really cool piece and it has a lot of potential though i think they missed out on a lot of kind of like the aspects that could have made it better um mainly i think you know if they put a crew neck instead of a v-neck you know this is a hockey jersey though so it makes sense them having the v on it i also think they could have incorporated supreme into the dragon graphic in some creative way which would have made it a lot better piece like maybe spell supreme in the smoke that is leaking out of the dragon mouth that would have been cool or put like uh, supreme written in blood coming off the dragon's uh, fangs or something like that that would have been cool next up we have the cross box logo and you know every top 10 list I feel like has the box logo even though you know I, I don't think this is necessarily the greatest box logo they've done obviously a lot of people comparing it to ass pizza who did the like triple stacked box logos to kind of start off and uh, get hyped up but um, this is kind of, you know, the American dream of pieces that drop uh, in the seasons. The box logo, super hard to cop, you know, uh, bots just kind of eat these up, making it very difficult. You can argue against the cross box logo as a design itself, but I think everybody likes the colorways, which are just tonal. And, you know, a lot of times we'll get kind of like a stinker of a colorway, but as far as these colorways go, I think they're all pretty good. Moving on, we have one of my favorite pieces, and I know I said it's not in any specific order, but this is probably tied for my favorite piece of the season. This is the bobsled long sleeve tee coming on a cotton jersey. Basically, you just have this like image of a bobsled or you know, a bobsled full of some dudes just flying by. Uh, it gives you this kind of like motion blur logo. And then the piece itself or the blank itself is also kind of given this like harder wash to make it have that like vintage feel or like vintage look to it. Another thing about this piece is the colorways. We look at the colorways, it also comes in a beautiful blue that matches the helmets. And then also a black, which you know, you can really see the standout of that like vintage wash or whatever they did to it to get uh, having that aesthetic. And I, I really like this piece because you know, it has that kind of like vintage look, vintage stuff is big right now. And then also I like those like big all over graphics once again. So uh, I really like this piece. This is a cop for me. I'll probably go for either the blue or the black colorway. I really wanna see how the black looks um, because the graphic might be maybe too subtle um, or like too hidden with that black colorway since you know, looking at the actual bobsled, uh, like a portion of the image itself is black. So I might go for the blue because uh, I have a feeling it might stand out a little bit more on that blue colorway, but a, a beautiful piece in my opinion. I really like this one. Moving forward, we're gonna talk about some hats that I liked to break it up. Here's the big logo beanie. This is something that they do every season, though I appreciate that they added the check colorways or the plaid colorways. You get the lumberjack red, blue, and green colorways, which I think are cool. They'll be able to be paired with some uh, quieter pieces to pull off like kind of a cool branded outfit. Uh, we also have this like red on white colorway, which I think is also a new one that they don't usually do. So uh, I thought the addition of these colorways were cool in the big logo beanies this time around. Next up, we have the new era balclavas, and I'm a big fan of balclavas or ski masks. I always like them. I want to get my hands on one of them. 
I think I've missed out on all of them because I either go for other pieces or they just usually move pretty quick anyway. But uh, I feel like the price point won't be too ridiculously high on these. They look pretty easy to manufacture. They are on a new era blank and basically you just got the Supreme logo going down the back and a set of good colorways. Like uh, I don't think you can really complain about any of the colorways here. I like them uh, and I hope to purchase one. <laughs> Last up for the hats, we have this Spetsnaz cap, this Tech Trooper, which has this kind of like all over encapsulating hat with a little like fur brim that goes straight up. Uh, I'm guessing you can kind of like pop it down. Some snowboard helmets are similar to this where you can like kind of flip a brim up or like have it down. And another really cool feature, which without this, I probably wouldn't care for it too much. You have this mask or covering that goes across the mouth and it has the Supreme spell out. Uh, so I do really like these. I think, you know, maybe they could have done it a little bit more interesting as far as the colorways go. I don't think the colorways are really that great. Uh, and then as far as the branding goes, I think they could have been a little bit more uh, creative with the branding. But the reason I really like this piece is just the silhouette. I think this is a very cool silhouette. And for that reason, it made it to my top 10 list. So I said there were two items that are tied for my top pieces of this season. And this is the other one. This is the Bleed logo short sleeve top once again on an all cotton jersey. Uh, this is a beautiful piece, you know, I, I, what, what can I say about it? It looks amazing. I really like it. This colorway is beautiful. Though this may look familiar, I don't believe Supreme has done this before, to my knowledge at least. And this is very similar to the Supreme Motion logo, which has a horizontal blur. And uh, this, you know, obviously has the vertical blur or bleed as they call it. And although this isn't done in like a vintage wash or anything, this just gives me like some vintage vibes. I'm not sure if it's the like huge logo or the kind of like fading down the chest, but I really, I really do like that like giant branding and then just how it fades across the whole piece. You know, you got something going on in the whole piece. And another thing I love about this is the colorways, like this purple one, beautiful. The yellow and red one, I'm still digging it. Got that like DHL colorway. And then you have that black and red we saw on the back that I also really like. The only one I'm not really feeling is the black on white. I don't think it works as well. And as far as price points go for this and the bobsled one I mentioned, since they are on all cotton jerseys, they'll be more pricey. I think this is coming in at like $78, whereas the bobsled one is probably going to be like $88. Next up, we have the double knee denim painter pants, specifically in that center colorway, which is kind of a like woodland landscape shot in either the fall or the winter. It's a little hard to tell. And this is kind of another piece that has a lot of potential, in my opinion, but they missed out on the opportunity to make it great. Like there are um, issues with this piece, you know, although it is on my top 10 list, you know, that means I do obviously like it, but there are obvious issues to me that uh, hold it kind of lower in the list for sure, and then also kind of prevent me from buying it. But it has so much potential that, you know, I appreciate it enough to put it on the list, which is kind of the same thing with the dragon. Uh, piece if I didn't explain that well enough my issue with this is how they did the double knee you know the double knee actually has a whole other denim panel over it and they have a pattern on the panel as you can see for that uh, that center colorway and what they did for the panel on both legs is just use the same pattern although the pattern does fit in with the background or like the, the image on the rest of the pants on one leg it obviously doesn't fit in on the other leg and I, I'm not sure why they went about it this way. You know, I think it would have been cool maybe to do just an all black one or, you know, just do the image that's on the back of that leg um, on top of it instead of just using the image from the other leg. I, I just don't appreciate that. I don't like that, um, especially since it has like such a different color. You know, it has kind of this like red hue to it that just makes it really stand out and it's too jarring against the background. I'm not, I don't know why they went about it that way. The last piece may come as a bit of a surprise, but it is the Supreme Hanes Thermal Pant. And I chose this because I think it'll make for a really cool base layer. Like if you layered this underneath some shorts, it'd look really cool. Or underneath some jeans that are all torn up, it'll also look pretty cool. And obviously the Supreme Hanes pieces are on the cheaper side, which is something I factor in when I look at all the items, you know, do the materials warrant the price point, do the, uh, the graphics, you know, on par with like, something that I would invest a lot of money into. So that wraps up my top 10 pieces. I know there are a lot of other hyped items that uh, you guys probably would have on your list that didn't necessarily make it into the video. Uh, feel free to comment them down below. I'm always uh, curious to see what you guys are into. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.